there is a prevailing assumption that mummy water is an adaptation of the western mermaid that assumption is in fact false water spirits have existed in africa for as long as african cultures have been alive the half fish half human water spirit is both mysterious and divine mummy water happens to be a deity and she's said to have abilities to transform into any form of her choice she is often depicted with long healthy hair enviable beauty and a dark and yet intriguing mysteriousness about her. Her name can be traced to the early languages of many modern African societies. The first root of her name is considered to be from Ethiopian and Egyptian Coptic societies. In some Ethiopian and the Coptic language, the word mama was used as a description of truth and wisdom, and the term water meant ocean water. Another definition of her name traces to the early Sudanese societies, where the word water referred to a woman. Mami Wata evolved from African cultures that worshipped mystical creatures. She is the greater goddess with many small followers. Legends are told of Mami Wata's followers coming to shore to deceive seamen and capture them to be taken to her underwater kingdom. The poor captives would serve as entertainment to her until they were sacrificed to the goddess. In Central and East Africa, the deity is referred to as Mamba Mtu, which literally translates to crocodile person in Swahili. Mami Wata has managed to find a home in the Western world, in societies across the Caribbean in South America. The deity is highly respected and feared, and many of these societies still train high priestesses who serve as a link between Mamiwata and the people. The role of Mamiwata is said to be the bearer of spiritual, emotional, and material healing to her followers. She is also the protector of the rivers, lakes, and oceans. Many traditional peoples on the continent avoid going to the beach or fishing on certain days in order to provide peace to Mamiwata's abode. But Mamiwata is also said to possess as much evil as good. She is said to seduce men with her powers of seduction and only revealing herself after sexual intimacy. After that, she said to make the man swear faithfulness to her or be killed. For many Africans who found themselves exiled in the Western world, especially in South America and the Caribbean, Mamiwata is said to have accompanied them on the Atlantic Ocean and had taken some of their pain to relieve them. She is said to have capsized many slave ships that never made it to those wretched plantations. She is also said to have emerged as a human girl many times to the enslaved Africans, often as a young, beautiful girl who dies at a young age. This was her way of protecting people who were away from water bodies. Throughout the years, she would appear as a girl to remind the slaves that she had not forgotten them. For the African people in the Dominican Republic, Haiti, and Brazil, she emerged to the people as La Sirene, Yemanja, Santa Marta, La Dominadora, and Oxum. Mamiwata appears in children's stories as a mystical character who often brings good or bad luck depending on one's character. In Western culture, she is referred to as a mermaid with beautiful features. Today, many Western scholars believe that Mamiwata is a pigeon adaptation of the mermaid adapted by African societies, but that is far from the truth.